Hello, I'm Mixed Miles and Merman, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I have a Cobra Fortis 20B up on the bench today, and I want to show you guys and girls how to change the belts, the quickest way I know how. I haven't had this machine long, but just figured it out myself, so I wanted to share it with you. You can get the belts off. If one of your belts is slipping, or if one of your belts is broken, then I'll show you how to change the belts, quick, sharp, get you up and moaning in no time at all. If it's the first time you're watching Mixed Miles and Merman, hit the subscribe button, whack the old bell. See notifications to all, that way you'll be told next time I upload another video. So without further ado, let's get down dirty. Let's get these belts on this Cobra Fortis changed over. Okay, so before you work on this machine, you want to make sure that your HT lead is taken off your spark plug, this engine is turned off, and the handbrake is in the on position. Once you've got those three things done, you can then get your Phillips screwdriver with a tool that's su supplied with the machine. Just loosen off the two retaining screws that hold the side cover on. They're quite big, bulky screws. Once you remove the two screws off of there, just retract the side cover. With the side cover retracted, it looks to be quite simple to how, how to move them, but actually there's a little bit involved. Um, the first one will pretty much, you can just slip this belt off of here and then off of the bottom, and that gets you so far, okay? However, you need to remove a bit more to make sure that these belts can actually come, come off altogether. But what I would recommend is, before you do any of this at all, okay, let me just put this belt back on very quickly. Before you do any of these belt changes at all, get your smartphone and take a photograph of this now. That way you'll know where it all goes a bit later on. So what you guys and girls can do, you can pause the video and take a photograph of the belt system, just like that. Okay, so, as I say, this is a brand spanking new machine. It's only been here for about a day. And let's just say we're a bit further down the line with these machines, and um, let's just say one of these belts is, is either worn or, or is actually broke on us or it's doing something it shouldn't be doing, and you want to replace the belts. You want to change the, uh, the belts on either your cylinder or your drive, okay? Whether they're broken, they're worn, or just want to do a service upgrade yourself, you can do it yourself, as simple as. Two 13 mil um, spanners on the back here, and just loosen off this drive linkage here. Now this is fully adjustable, so you can, you can actually adjust your drive. If your drive's a bit weak, you can actually adjust it up, which is brilliant. It's got four holes here to add adjustment as well, so that's good. So just loosen this off, just like so and then pull this cable back, all the way back and through the groove, like so. Get a pair of long nose pliers, and just get a hold of that spring, and just start to move that spring out, and just tip out. I'm only using um, long nose pliers just to get a hold of it. It'll, it'll come out, there it goes. So that comes out. Once that's out, he says, once that's out, that drops down. With that dropping down, you've then, you've then made a, a clear path to get this spring, uh, this belt, out the way of the, uh, of the pulley. So just ease this one off the, off the top drive belt, off of the nearest pulley here. I find you to turn the whole belt round, and then you can just slide it out from underneath here. It's a bit tight, just don't pinch the belt. And then lift that up, and out comes, out comes your drive belt. That's off in two or three seconds. We like that a lot. Now this one here is just a little bit different. Just lift the belt up, put it over the top of the pulley. Just always remember that this is a bit where it's got to go back later on because it pushes down, okay? To remove this belt, simply just take it off the bottom, take it off the top. Again, careful not to pinch it. Done. Now your belt numbers for your cylinder is a, a 4LXA665E for your cylinder and for your drive is a 4LXA 806E. Okay, so that's your two different types. Now to reinstate your belts, it's just a reverse. So on the top pulley at the back, feed it through. Don't pinch it. It will go. There you go. Onto the bottom pulley at the bottom. Boom, boom, boom. Easy. And this one here has got to come over the top of this one and over the top of the next one. It goes like that. So when you operate your cylinder, there you go, you see it moving. To put your drive on, it's just as easy. Over the top. In fact, we'll go down here first. We want to try and get this belt in between this bottom pulley 
like so. Feed it onto the onto the onto the big pulley like so, and then just feed that up and over onto the output shaft pulley. You might get just a little tiny rotate if you want to. Make sure you take the handbrake off to do that. Take the handbrake off. Just gonna rotate it just to ease it over the top and then it goes there, put the handbrake back on. Once that's in place, we can then bring up your, your idler, your tensioner, and then just hook up this little tiny spring that we had off before. That goes straight in there like that, lovely. And then just pull back this cable all the way back till it sits into the machine. Get your nut. Do that up. All the way done up, because you don't want this, this tensioner to be touching the, the, the drive pulley at the back here. Get your two 13 mils, and then just nick that up. Like so. Now you've got adjustment here to be had, and adjustment here to be had should you need it. So if it gets a bit slack, because this cable may stretch over time, you can adjust it here, falls on backwards, or you can just take the spring off and drop it down a hole. So now the drive will work. There you go. And also your cylinder works too. Of course, once that's all done, you can then put your, put your cover back on, which is just your two retaining Phillips screws that we took out initially. Just locate them first. Wiggle it about a bit till you actually find, find it where it goes. Once it starts, half do it. Then do the other half. So just a bit of wiggling, just to locate the hole. Where are we? Oh, a little bit low, that's why. About there. Do that one up. Just well seat them. Job done. Belt's changed inside five minutes. So there you go, that's how you change your belts on your Cobra Fortis cylinder mower. Quick and easy to do, done inside four minutes. There's the numbers for you as well for the new belts. Uh, the belts are readily available online, no problems at all. And uh, they look to be quite heavy duty. They're not tooth belts, they're, they're good solid V belts. So just take a photograph before you do anything. That's my biggest, my biggest hint to you all, is to take photographs first. That way you can refer back to a photograph later on or use this video as well. As to where the belts go and uh, how to put them back on. So. If I can do it, you can do it. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Mixed Mowers and Mower Man on how to change your belts on your Cobra lawnmower. If you find it helpful, give us a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and whack the old bell, and I'll see you guys next time on the Mixed Mowers and Mower Man channel.